Okay. I cannot tell you how difficult it has been to break through on something so simple that men and women in the same job deserve the same pay. That's what this is about. Thank you all. Any questions? We, we implicitly recognize as women that the pay gap and the wage gap is an injustice that persists through secrecy and it's an injustice that persists to the present day. And the only way that we can combat that is through organizing in our personal action ourselves. So I'm so happy that, that the Paycheck Fairness Act addresses, among many things, two very critical ones. One is that we cannot ask for salary history and pay people depending on their salary history anymore. Anymore. Because it is time that we pay people what they are worth and not how little they are desperate enough to accept. Yes. It is time to pay people what they are worth and that has nothing to do with their history. It has everything to do with what they are worth today. And the second thing is that it makes it, a, a, it, makes it legal and it makes it totally permissible to share your salary information at your workplace. And that's incredibly important because for all of those who say that the wage gap does not exist, and that it's a myth, then they should have no problem proving that. Yeah. Thank you to the folks, the champions uh, on, the, on the riser here. I'm here on the 10th anniversary of the bill that bears my name, which allows the women their day in court, like I had mine, for equal pay, for equal work. I'm here because equal pay for equal work is an American value, and it's time that we have American reality. Brianna Hutchings from Washington State, and thank you for your courage and